And we do begin tonight with the breaking news. North Korea with an announcement just moments ago. Kim Jong-un now saying he will freeze nuclear and long-range missile tests and shut down a nuclear test site. This comes just as President Trump says a face-to-face -face meeting with Kim Jong-un could happen within weeks. Let's get right to ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Ranitz. And Martha, this headline, if true, is significant. It certainly is, David. This is, of course, one of the conditions the U.S. insisted on, and the North, according to those reports, says it will comply, suspending all nuclear and intercontinental ballistic missile tests. But the North has gone even further, saying they will shut down a nuclear test site to prove they vow to suspend nuclear tests. The U.S. believes the North is close to, if not already capable, of launching a missile that could reach as far as Washington. This is all in preparation, of course, for that potential meeting between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. Next week, Kim is meeting with South Korea's president as a first step. And this comes, of course, just weeks after CIA director Mike Pompeo made that secret trip, David, to North Korea on Easter week. Yeah, they kept that trip under wraps. And Martha, you took note as well that the president said just this week that he reserves the right to get up and walk out of the room if the talks don't go well. Uh, he certainly does, and he said that and insisted on that, but they are trying to set this up for success, David, and I think the news tonight shows you that. Martha Raddatz leading us off with the breaking news this Friday night. Thank you, Martha. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.